this is Dave and Barbara. from Hiking with Dave and Barbara and we're not doing a hike, we're doing one of our pub crawls and this is number five on the Manchester pub crawl list. Uh, we're going to start at the university section on Grosvenor Street and we're going to finish down towards Oxford Road Station or just beyond Oxford Road Station. Anyway, the first pub is in fact behind this lorry. It is the Footage. As you can see, it's the old Grosvenor Picture Pub Palace. Um, not sure when it closed, but in the 1990s it was reopened as a Firkin pub and it's recently been renovated in 2014. It's now let these buses go past, even though they're electric. It is now the footage. And it's um, a large pub inside, big selection of beers. And can you add anything to this pub? Uh, it's got um, the biggest screen in Manchester if you fancy watching the football. If you don't fancy watching the football, make sure you're here time when it's not actually on. Um, this is a popular, very popular area. This is the Manchester University and Manchester Met Universities. Um, so during term time, the pubs that we're visiting today during the week will be very busy. But it's a weekend, non term time, just for the sort of locals and drinkers out. So uh, again, check your timetable when you want to come down here. Yeah, and we're literally maybe five minutes from Oxford Road Station, so it's a great place to start. Should we move on to pub number two, Barbara? Yep. Let's go. Bye. Bye. Okay, let's move on to pub number two, and it's literally next door to the uh, the footage. This is the, used to be called the Deaf and Dumb Institute. The building is quite amazing from... 1878. 1878. Um, name seems to have changed to now it's just called Death. Um, great bar, loads of beers and food, although the food tends to be vegetarian, so if you're not a vegetarian, you better check it out. We're not all sure about the opening times as well. Um, sometimes it opens in the afternoon. It has been open when we've done our crawl, but definitely check out the opening times. Anything to add on this one, Barbara, before um, we move on? If you, it's, it's, a, um, it's a, on three stories. On the first story, they have music nights, quiz nights, comedy shows on. Um, it's a bar that's very, very well used with the local students and yeah. locals in general. Yeah, it's a good place to start. So we've done pub one, pub two very quickly. So it's a great way to, to get the, uh, the drink levels up. Right, let's move on to number three. Okay, let's move on to pub number three, the Flower and Flagon. Um, it's had numerous names over the years. In fact, last time we came here, it was called something else. Uh, it used to be a former plumber's merchant. Um, Loads of beers and food, food as well. Plenty of students as always, but it fits in well with the other two pubs. And the two, first two pubs were just across the road, so the first three are within 100 metres of each other. Anything to add quickly on this one, Barbara? No, it's got quite a nice bar. Yeah. It's got a good selection of beers, yeah. gins. Um, they do some food here as well. Yeah. And yeah, check it out. And it's quite big as well, so you're not going to get too uh, squashed early doors. Let's move on down Oxford Road back to towards Manchester for pub number four. Bye. Okay, did I say we were going to Manchester? No, we're going to one more pub on Grosvenor Street, which is behind us, the Sand Bar, which is basically just down the road from the other three bars we've been to, uh, pubs one, two and three. Um, great old building this one, lots of uh, locally, local bitters etc uh, and food. Thank you to our own bars before we head, do head into Manchester. <laughs> um, yeah, ch check out the outside, quite interesting, two old Georgian houses put together. Inside there's an old, old loading bay and some bus seats, um, sort of quite, got quite a bohemian look and lots of nice photos on the wall. So more interesting than it looks from the outside. Yeah, I mean this area used to be quite decrepit 30 years ago, it's now uh, up, and, up and coming and you see there's plenty of works and uh, building work around us, totally student land I guess. Anyway, should we head back into Manchester or into Manchester now? Yep. Okay, let's go, bye. bye. Pub number 
number five, we've just walked down Oxford Road, uh, down towards Oxford Road Station, and just before then, you turn left down uh, come Wakefield, Street. Wakefield Street, and this is the font. It doesn't look great from the outside, but it's, it's great for cocktails, great for beers, and it's very, very cheap. Uh, a favourite with students, etc. Anything to add, Barbara, on that one? Or? Yes, if you fancy a cocktail, they st uh, start from £2. Yeah. Um, bottles of wine from £6, in case you've not had enough to drink yet. Yeah. And it does get very, very good reviews. Don't mm. let the outside deceive you. Um, yeah, but uh, a, nice, a nice pub to go to. Okay, so the first five pubs have been sort of studenty new pubs. We're going to now move on to the more traditional, uh, traditional Manchester pub. So let's move on to pub number six, part two of the crawl. Bye. Let's move on to pub number six, which is the Last of Gary, one of my favourites. I think one of Barbara's favourites as well. Fantastic pub from the outside, as, as, as good looking as pub as you would see. Look at the brown tiles. Um, inside's great as well, loads of local ales. During the week, lots of students. Uh, at the weekend, less so, but still great for a crawl. Anything to add on this one, Barbara? This is one of our top ten pubs in Manchester. Mm. Love this pub. Uh, mm. Just the Victorian furnishings inside, out, outside. This pub and originates from before 1844. Was threatened with demolition, but fortunately it's been saved. It has won various pub awards, and it's got a little outside area overhanging the River Medlock. So, and check out the toilets too. Yeah, it's a great place. Okay, we're going to move on to pub number seven. So, see you in a minute. Bye. Okay, let's move on to pub number seven, literally metres away from pub number six. There's the last of Gary. Anyway, we're at the Joshua Brooks, which is commonly known as a Mank institution. Uh, it's, you've got uh, the railway viaducts uh, just to the side, and it's the, in between there and the River Medlock. Um, and it's opposite the factory nightclub, anybody who knows that. Um, big, large pub. It's, it's great to be in the middle of the crawl, it does food great beers and it's big and it has big leather chairs you can go and sit down and, and chill out and make sure you don't fall asleep <laughs> anything to add on this pub number seven barbara it's obviously a very historic building but i can't actually find the history of the building but it's got like a nice outdoor area again overhanging the river medlock so mm. just you know it's just historic manchester it so, is isn't it? nice it, bar to drop and in. it's named after something oh sorry character in the book called the manchester man by mrs banks yeah Never heard of it, but I'll probably have to check it out now, won't I, Barbara? You will. All right, let's move on to pub number eight. Hi. Okay, this is pub number eight, and you can see behind us we've got O'Shea's. It's an, old, um, it's an old building, at least 100 years old. The actual pub dates back to 1994. Landlord claims it's the best pint of Guinness served in Manchester. I'm not sure whether it's true, but it's a good claim. Um, plenty of other um, uh, spirits, uh, whiskies, etc. in there. It's, it's effectively done out as an Irish bar inside, but clearly the outside isn't, isn't Irish looking. Um, but a nice place, good place to stop en route. Anything about on this one, Barbara? Uh, no, it's bad, yeah, but do check out the building that it's actually in. Yeah. Yeah, a really, really ornate old building. All right. you, these all used to be old warehouses for them, to you? Yeah, and it used to be a little island, forgot to mention that. That's why I say maybe it's here. Anyway, we'll move on to pub number nine. Let's go. Bye. pub number nine and what can you do with an old railway arch well you can turn it into the thirsty scholar behind us um, if, you, if you arrive later this place there's always lots of entertainment on um, free music venue etc not sure what time you would arrive on this crawl probably six or seven prior to the entertainment starting but it's a great place loads of uh, traditional uh, traditional beers and they also a lot of world 
beers as well. Uh, a great place to be honest. Anything to add on this one, Barbara? It's got a nice seated area outside as yeah. well, but it is one of Manchester's um, best free music venues. Um, check out on, the, on a Saturday, it has 1960s nights on. Yeah. Northern Soul. Northern Soul, etc. Uh, it's a good place, nice place there. It sort of has a bit of tradition underneath the railway arches here. Uh, it's, it, Oxford Road Station is virtually there. Anyway, we're going to move on to the last pub, which is number 10, Should which is in fact the Salisbury. Salisbury. We're going to move around here. Yeah. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> It's a pub number 10 and it's the Salisbury. That's a fantastic traditional Manchester ale house as it says on the sign there. Um, it's a great place. If you like Thigston's, it's a great place to have your last pint. Um, nice inside. It's one of the uh, one of several, but it's a fantastic tile, tile, you know, brown tiled building. It's a great location to Oxford Road Station. I, I really like this place. Anything to add on this one, Barbara? It's definitely in our top 10 of Manchester pubs. So if you are doubtful about any of the others, make sure you go in the last Agari and this one, yeah. which is the top two on this particular pub crawl, definitely. It is. Yeah, and if the music in the uh, Thirsty Scholar was too much for you, nip in here instead. But anyway, end of the crawl. That's the end of the crawl. Hope conveniently you've by Oxford Road yeah. Station. Just Walk head up, up the steps at yeah. the back. Okay, we'll leave you and we'll uh, come back with another crawl another day. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.